Newmill Hall had already put in insulation, double glazing and a solar panel to heat water. We entered Green Street with a plan to install a biomass boiler to heat the hall and the local primary school. We kick-started our project with a buttery morning to show the plans to the wider community. Packing up at the end of the event was just the start of the hard work. After much negotiation with Murray Council, work finally began to start laying the pipes to take the hot water from the boiler to the hall and the school. The pipes had to be laid under the road, round the school car park, round the school building, as of course the school boiler room was at the far end of the school. They worked through the rain, but couldn't work through the heaviest snowfalls that November has seen for many years. When work restarted to lay the base for the boiler cabin, it was held up by rain and then snow again, but finally it was finished. The boiler arriving caused great excitement in our normally quiet village. First, a lorry with our lovely wooden clad boiler cabin arrived on scene. Then, a crane arrived to block the road and none of the residents were quite sure how the boiler was going to be put in place. Swinging high over houses and trees, it was gently and with precision lowered onto the base at the hall. The fuel store was filled up with wood pellets and the boiler was commissioned. Volunteers got a training talk by Graham from Highland Wood Energy and Jack, our community project manager. So that's it, feeding pellets now. So that motor there is turning the auger which is turning the turntable inside the fuel store, pushing pellets into the trough, which are then pulled up here. Uh, the pellets then drop into the fall chute, and the second auger there, or the stoker motor, stoker auger, pushes them into the combustion chamber. Is it, will it drive more pellets in depending on the demand? Then? Although it's, it's a sit, I think the bite and the bite is enough for sort of big cargo. Right. Uh, but that's something I did in the commissioning to see how much pellets were fed in and after getting a good fire. Right. Um, nothing's really controlled by the demand, it's really only that temperature of 78 degrees. That'll burn away the same any time. Yeah. It's, it's a good question though, it's not like a gas boiler or an oil boiler. You know a gas boiler will have got almost like a, a, a variable flame and you even have to say like a combi boiler. 
turn on the tap and it, it comes on yeah. and it heats that wee batch. Essentially the way biomass works is it, is it uses that big tank there yeah. and the kind of volume in the pipework to actually um, create a blast of heating yeah. and, then, and then effectively that heat is, and then go off yeah. and then that heat is then distributed, the temperature decays, yeah. it reaches a bottom set point and then there's a further charge of heat comes in. It's so that effectively, if you think of it like a car, your car operates most efficiently when you're driving it, so to say, at 70 miles an hour on the motorway. So steady, steady throttle, charging along, engines up to temperature, etc. And it doesn't work well when it's changing gear through time or whatnot. Well, this is exactly the way this has been designed. It's almost, it's sitting at 70 miles an hour all the time, yeah. or it's stopped. Okay. 70 miles an hour, or stopped. Yeah. And it'll sit at 70 miles an hour for whatever, 20 minutes. And then stop, won't just sit for something like that and then go off again. Okay. So, so that's essentially how, 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 yeah. how it would work. So it just sort of tops itself up with fuel when it needs to pop up the tank or whatever. Correct, it's, 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 it's a set point at the bottom, yeah. temperature so of the tank. Look at the tank, yeah. 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 until that reaches I think it's 70 degrees, the boil will run. Once it reaches that, it'll start to die down. It'll start closing down the air, the air flaps, the primary and safety of the air. With the whole end of the scheme up and running, it was just a matter of connecting the pipes to the school central heating system. The school's heat would now be generated by the community wood boiler and their existing oil boilers used only as a backup. We then ended up with another buttery morning. From the first event, when the plans were on display, we were now able to show the community the finished project.